Greetings, Ray Watchers and friends. Welcome back to my channel, Fit to Love Me with Love Fuller. I'm Love Fuller, and I'm here with the Cooking with Love video. This is a recipe for spaghetti squash mac and cheese. It's only three smart points, and it is delicious. So before we get started, let's take a look at the recipe. I make these recipes for myself based on what ingredients I have in the house. And then I also kind of predetermined about how many points I want the recipe to, to come out to. I knew that I didn't want to go over three points to have this mac and cheese as a side. So I made my ingredients that I have fit into it in a way that I think would taste good. So um, hopefully you will do the same thing using your recipe builder. Okay, so the ingredients are here. So I just threw in some instructions. You know, I'm not a professional cook or some or a chef or somebody to be making recipes, but this is what I wrote. <laughs> First, you're going to prepare your spaghetti squash. I baked mine or roasted mine, and I made a video about how to do that that you can find in the description box. Next, you're going to prepare your pasta. I used Ronzoni Smart Taste because it has low smart point value. You see me here weighing it, and then I just prepared it according to the instructions on the box. As we all know, the star of any mac and cheese dish is the cheese. I use a combination of different flavors of cheese. I think to have a good mix of different kinds of cheese is good for depth of flavor. And I also use a combination of fat percentages to keep the points down, but yet also to keep the flavor up. So the, I use a majority of 2% cheese, although I use some fat-free and some full fat. Again, I use what's in my house and um, I put it into the recipe builder trying to just gauge and watch how many points you know the different combinations come up with. So now the squash is out of the oven. To make sure that it was done, I just put a little slit with a knife to see if it would go straight through easily. I'm using a 9 by 13 inch baking dish and I'm spraying it with olive oil. So a brief note about this pasta. I just figured that if I put pasta in with the spaghetti squash, it can make it feel more like real macaroni and cheese. But um, there wasn't really enough pasta. It was only two ounces. So I suggest that either you use more pasta and adjust the points up or take out the pasta altogether and adjust the points down. Maybe not adjust the points down and just add more cheese. Now I'm adding more of the toasted sesame oil into the pasta just to separate the pasta and to give it some more flavor. I still have a quarter teaspoon left that I'm going to put in later. I'm putting the prepared pasta into the pre-sprayed baking dish. So here I am separating the pulp from the inside of the, of the squash. Um, by taking two forks and just basically scraping the spaghetti-like strands. And I'm going to put them into the baking dish along with the pasta. Now I'm adding the last of the toasted sesame oil. I have used one smart point worth, which is one teaspoon worth throughout the entire process. Half when I was baking the spaghetti squash and half afterwards, as you just saw. I'm adding some salt for seasoning. As with most root vegetables, like different kinds of potatoes and squash, they require a good amount of salt. And also, pasta tends to be the same way. It requires salt. So it turns out I actually could have used a little bit more. Now we're adding the cheese and the onions. I use almost all the cheese in the bowl. I just leave about a quarter to between a quarter and one third uh, to put on the top. And then I add the onions and mix them all in. 
I was watching this woman's recipe video for macaroni and cheese here on YouTube and she said that the key to good macaroni and cheese is in the eggs. She puts in five eggs in her macaroni and cheese. Well, you all know that I don't have the points for that, but I decided to compromise by putting in a full egg yolk instead of just the the um, egg whites like I normally would. So I have one egg with two egg whites. And I'm making a liquid mixture here. I added the almond milk along with the salt and pepper to taste. As you might have noticed, I don't, I didn't even list the salt and pepper in the ingredients. I just seasoned to taste. I am distributing the squash, pasta, and cheese and onion mixture evenly around the bottom of the bowl so that when I pour the milk in, it can go in evenly. Ideally, the milk mixture is poured into just below the pasta line, but since we didn't really know exactly how much pot spaghetti squash was going to be inside of the, the um, spaghetti squash, uh, it was kind of hard to judge, so it looks like I used a little bit too much milk, but I just ended up cooking it about 10 minutes longer. I'm distributing the rest of the cheese evenly across the top of the mixture and then I'm going to take the second tip that the wonderful YouTuber gave for macaroni and cheese and she said to cover it with foil. And voila! Here is the beautiful final product. It was baked in a preheated oven at 350 degrees until it was firm and a toothpick inserted in the middle came out clean and that took about 55 minutes in this case but the general guideline is 45 minutes. So I'm just gonna allow it to cool a little bit. I'm going to let it firm and set up before I cut it into eight even slices for three smart points each. I let that set for about 10 minutes so that it could be firm enough to cut without breaking up. And this is what it looks like. Looks like real macaroni and cheese, yum. As you all know, I'm a freezer cooker. I like to make freezer meals because it saves me time in the future when I want to have some nice spaghetti squash macaroni and cheese. I can just grab it out of the freezer. And so you can see I put the name of the, the recipe, the date I made it, and how many smart points it is on the back. So here it is the next day, and I've just taken it out of the refrigerator. This is what it looks like all set up. You can see the pasta in there. It looks all nice and macaroni and cheesy. I'm going to take my freezer paper and wrap it. Put the freezer wrapped portion in a Ziploc bag. Put a rubber band on it and that is it. It is a done deal. This is your spaghetti squash macaroni and cheese. Just three smart points for this warm, cheesy, comforting goodness. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you join me for more Weight Watcher Smart Points recipe videos. So please click the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ciao friends.